This YouTube channel is making between six to $100,000 monthly by uploading their faceless kids animation content. In today's video, I'll show you how to create your first kids animation video ever, all using the power of AI. Starting from generating the script ideas, creating engaging voiceovers to lovely animations. So buckle up everyone and let the tutorial begin. First, we'll set up some prompts in ChatGPT. This is my animation prompt template. Write me a fun short animation for kids about your idea. The characters should be, describe your characters. Lastly, the story should only include two characters and happen in just one background. The reason I put one background here is to simplify the process for you. All right, for example, I'd want the story to be about two friends playing facts together. And my characters will be a panda and a duck. You can choose different types of characters like humans, toys, birds, the list goes on. Now hit generate. ChatGPT will then come up with a fun short animation for you. We're not done yet. We'll ask ChatGPT for one more prompt. Write me two one-line prompts to generate the images for the main characters. This will help you isolate the background and characters animations. Awesome, once you have the scripts ready, let's go to leonardo.ai. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for free using your Google account. At the moment, I'm using the free version with 150 free credits each day to generate AI images. There are many stunning image models here for you to choose. Feel free to experience around when you have time. But for now, we'll simply choose image generation. These are the images I generated in my last video. Just ignore them. Now make sure your fine-tuned model is Leonardo Diffusion XL. Then choose to add elements. Kids illustration. Next, adjust the elements weight to about 0.3, which is best from my experience. Nice. I will choose to generate two images, then change the aspect ratio to 16 by nine since I'm making a YouTube video. Next step, go back to ChatGPT. You'll notice the background scene ChatGPT generated in the first paragraph. Copy and paste that to Leonardo AI. Once you're done, hit generate. Let's see how this image generator comes up with our background scene. Awesome, looking good already. Let's have a closer look. I like the image on the right better. Next, this is a very important step. You need to upscale the image. This will help increase the animation quality. To do that, choose Alchemy Upscaler at the bottom right corner, change Refine Strength to High, and turn on Smooth Mode. This process will cost you eight credits, but in turn, your later animation will be improved. Perfect. Our image quality has been increased drastically. Next, let's turn this image into animation by using the new feature Image to Motion Video. Here you can adjust the motion strength, lower value for fewer movements, and higher values for more movements. I'll leave that at two, now hit generate. This process will cost you 25 credits, but don't worry, your credits get refilled every day. All right, it's done. Let's have a look. Hmm, the animation is not so smooth, but remember, you can always regenerate with your remaining credits. Now go back to ChatGPT and copy the character's descriptions that we created earlier. All right, let's generate our panda images. I'll pick the one on the right. Once again, we will upscale the image using Alchemy Upscaler. However, we won't turn it into animation here. Now do the same for our duck character. In my opinion, AI animation is still new and could potentially help you grow your faceless YouTube channel. Once you're done generating, download the character's images and background scene. You're doing fantastic. Next, let's head over to Canva. Here in the dashboard, search for YouTube video. Then click create a blank YouTube video. Once you're in, use the uploads feature to upload your images and background. Here, I've already uploaded all the needed visual elements. Now simply click on these images to add them to your project. This will look a bit messy for now. All right, we will then arrange the layers positions. I'll bring the background video to the bottom. This will put the background behind our characters. Next, we will remove the characters backgrounds. You have two options in terms of this. The first option is to use the Leonardo AI removing background feature. This will cost you two credits and it's free. Let's try it. Okay, your background is removed, but its quality is not well crafted. The second option is to use Canva Pro, which is priced at about $12 per month. 
but the quality is much better. This is not a sponsor, I just want to provide you guys with the information based on my experience. Let me illustrate. Click on the image you want to edit. Choose Edit Photo. You'll then see the Remove Background option. Give it a few seconds. There you go, your character's background disappeared. You can see the difference in quality of two results here. I'll do the same for the duck image. Awesome! Now, before animating our characters, we will first generating voices for them using Eleven Labs. Here, you can sign in using your Google account. Okay, this is the Eleven Labs dashboard. For the free version, you'll be provided 10,000 characters per month for free to generate AI voiceovers. But there are some guidelines about attribution to Eleven Labs you need to follow. I'm currently using the paid subscription, so you can see my remaining quota will be different from yours. Alright, let's go to Voice Library. Here there is a wide range of options for you to choose. However, since we are making an animation for kids, let's filter out voices for characters and animations. Now, you can look around and listen to these samples, and choose the ones that you think would fit your characters. Have fun with this process, imagine yourself as a kid, and what kind of voice you would like to hear. After a while of searching, I'll choose Keltham voice for my panda, and Janaya, an anime girl voice for my duck. Now, go back to speech synthesis. Here, you can find your selected voice in the drop-down list. Then, simply return to ChatGPT and find the scripts that are relevant to each character. Just copy and paste it in the text box, then hit generate. Hey Dizzy, what's quacking? Nice voice. I'll go ahead and create voices for one scene and three character scripts in this tutorial, but I'll provide you with some greater tips in the animation part. Once you're done, go back to Canva. Here, I've already uploaded the three voices I just created. All right, let the animation begin. First, right-click on the scene, duplicate page, or you can use Control-D or Command-D on your keyboard to do so. Doing this will help you have more rooms to place the voiceovers in. Next, click on your first voice according to the scripts. In my case, it's Panda1. Drag it to the beginning of the timeline. Okay, let's hear it. Hey Dizzy, what's quacking? I will now animate the panda according to the tone of the voiceover. Let's say I want the panda to appear from the side with slightly movement. To do that, I will adjust its position to the side, then choose the Animate tab at the top. Here, you have the option to create animation. Click on that. Now, I'll just move the panda following a small zigzag path. Let's preview it. Hey Dizzy, what's quacking? And there you have it, a simple yet funny animation for kids. You might think, what a silly feature, but hold up. Keep watching, and it's not as bad as you think. All right, I will do the same for the other two audios. You can adjust the durations of your scenes to fit with the voices. Also, I think your animations don't have to be perfect. As long as they convey the right mood and tone of the voiceovers, then you're good to go. Small tip for you guys here, if you see your scenes have disrupted transition, don't worry, simply right click, add transition, choose match and move transition, then apply between all pages, and just like that, your transition between each scene will be as smooth as ever. Let's see the result. Hey Dizzy, what's quacking? Oh, you know, the usual duck stuff. But guess what I heard today? Ducks can fly up to 60 miles per hour. No way, that's faster than my bamboo eating record. Let's play a game, we'll take turns sharing cool facts with each other. It's not so hard for a kid's animation, right? The last part is to add a cute little piece of background music for our video. To do that, go to the Audio tab and search for children background music. Feel free to look around and find the ones that suit the mood of your video. Ideally, music that's longer than one minute so you have enough space to edit your character's animations. Awesome, now let's watch our final result. Hey Dizzy, what's quacking? Oh, you know, the usual duck stuff. But guess what I heard today? Ducks can fly up to 60 miles per hour. No way, that's faster than my bamboo eating record. Let's play a game. We'll take turns sharing cool facts with each other. Once you're done, download it as an MP4 file. Yup, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. This way of animation is not so hard in my opinion. Sure, it might be a bit complicated at first, but once you get used to it, your process will be faster and more efficient. Let me know what you think about this method in the comment below. And if you find this video helpful, consider hitting that like button. That'd be a great support. Thank you for watching, guys. And until next time, cheerio.